It's a line-out ball here, and Barton with a few options once again. They're using Tuasui no, on that short no, line no, outside off Atkinson. Is off penalty given up. Kruvi gives away the penalty, but they were exposed a little bit there. Someone has to trail Tuasui, particularly if Atkinson's going to stand and deliver. He's not going to be able to go and follow him and clear out. And it was nice from, uh, from Gloucester first. right up until the... Final pass, which was a judge forwards, but in, in tricky conditions, the handling yeah. looked pretty slick. Yeah, it's stopped Seven. raining now, actually, by the looks of things. Maybe it's just a little bit spitting, but it's a lot easier to play. And Gloucester on the board. Great opportunity here. Cravey picks out his man in Dupree. Rod is the man on the transfer, and here's Duckdale. Driven back very effectively by George Barton, amongst others, but for how long can Gloucester hold out here? Shonets tries to squirm his way clear. Gloucester flinging themselves at those blue shirted bodies. Over the top goes Roebuck. Reed pins his ears back. Clinical finishing from the Sail Sharks. They move in front. And through all the heavy traffic and the hard carrying, it's the winger with the try. Damage done by Singleton being penalised and penalty advantage. As soon as that happened, they had one more little rumble to the line. And then George Ford makes the call to Gus Wall that he wants it. Distance on that that he would have liked. War is to a sui. Oh, oof. big shot from Shonet and Barton to the boot. This short jab this time. War leaves that hanging for James, who read it well. Barton. Hold, hold. And Reeves is, is headed it, it's picked up by War, and now Sailor away, and nobody surely will catch Reeves, far too quick for everybody. Bit of a shambles in the backfield from Jack Reeves, unfortunate at best, Sail pouncing. Well, the mistake from Reeves, obviously disastrous for Gloucester, but... Gus War, his chase is superb. What can Sail do from here? Johnny Hill has the ball. We saw the arrival of Ben Curry, who's joining in here behind Agustin Crevy. With some five metres to go, Sharks have one thing on their minds. Gloucester scrambling, Johnny Hill. Very close indeed. Through the legs of Dupria. Taken on by Curry. Only been on the field a matter of minutes. His first appearance in six months. Back from injury. Onto the score sheet and driving the Sharks in front. Young barking the instructions. He wants it now. And away from uh, Atkinson. Finding the fullback and hits Hurl at high speed. Hurl with a strong finish, but he's held. <laughs> And the referee's taken a tumble at the crucial moment. It looks as if Sale have managed to hold their man up here. Gus Wall and Sam Bedlow and Rob Dupree all laying bodies on the line. Beaumont has it. And it's worked its way to Crevy. Five metres away. Argentina's captain. Argentina's most capped player of all time. And tonight, making his sale debut, he's marked it with the bonus point try. He's caught that an even tighter spiral. It's bouncing in front of Morris this time, and he's got a bit of time, but the pressure coming on. He's onside, it's been touched, and Atkinson has it, and away it goes from Cicino. And in thunders Freddie Thomas. Well, a stroke of luck as far as George Skivington and Gloucester are concerned. Only a handful of minutes remaining, but the try is Freddie Thomas's. Only his second Premiership start. 
and Gloucester have something to show for their efforts at the very least. One final shot, clock in the red. The bonus point victory assured at this point, and Van Rijn for Knight Thomas, who decides that they'll bank their chips. Sharks bouncing back from ignominy in Devon last weekend. And a pretty clinical display, all things considered. Full-time, Sale 24, Gloucester 10.